An important trilateral meeting today between the United States, Japan and the Philippines. It's in the midst of growing concern about the China's military action in the Indo-Pacific region. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Raquel Martin has the very latest. Well, Prime Minister Kishida's speech only underscored the growing tension in the Indo-Pacific. He told lawmakers the U.S.-Japan alliance is now more important than ever. In the face of an increasingly aggressive China and an unpredictable North Korea, Japan's prime minister is reinforcing his country's decades-long alliance with the U.S. We are now at inflection point that will define the next stage of human history. In an address to a joint meeting of Congress, the Japanese leader stressed the need for all democracies to band together to prevent a war in the region. Ukraine of today may be East Asia of tomorrow. The Chinese government continues to threaten Taiwan and has attacked Philippine vessels in disputed areas of the South China Sea. But it calls the prime minister's rhetoric a smear against China and accuses the U.S. and its allies of interfering in China's internal affairs. Prime Minister Kishida's address was followed by a ceremonial luncheon with Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Vice President Kamala Harris. America's commitment to Japan's defense is ironclad. The two countries announced they're taking their alliance to new heights, space. A Japanese astronaut will join NASA's upcoming Artemis lunar missions and become the first non-American astronaut on the moon. We've agreed to be the first two nations to step foot on its surface together. Following that meeting, President Biden, the Prime Minister and the President of the Philippines held their first trilateral meeting. The three leaders emerged saying that they stand united. For now in Washington, Raquel Martin, back to you.